everybody, Z Garcia here, and today I figured I would do my own little top 10, and I'm looking at top 10 games that are just begging for an expansion, in my opinion, of course, games that I would love to see more content for. Now, a couple of ground rules here that I set for myself. Uh, these have to have a release date of, at the absolute uh, latest, 2019. Most of them are older than that, but uh, nothing from 2020. That just, that's just a little too soon for a game to, for me to assume they will not have an expansion and really be craving an expansion, okay? And then secondly, it must be a game that has no expansions. If it's even had one, it's off the list, okay? Even if I do want more content for that game. So that's what I'm looking at today, and we're going to start at the top with Witch of Salem that I would love to have an expansion for, also a, a reprint, I suppose, which is why it comes in at number 10. This is a game that not a ton of people have played. It's sort of the Euro style of a game like Arkham Horror. It's the same uh, setting. It's a, you know it's that Cthulhu uh, Mythos setting, and the game is very engaging, very tense, very Euroy. But it really needs more content in there. I would love to see character uh, special abilities. All of the characters in the game are are, are just uh, your avatar. They don't have any special abilities or anything. I want to see more monsters, more. Uh, uh, unique uh, items you can find, all of that stuff. So Witch of Salem, bring it back and throw an expansion in there while you're at it. My number nine is a game called Sentient, or Sentient, some people say. This one is very puzzly. It's uh, a very tight game. It's elegant. It's uh, interesting. And I would like to see a little bit more content in it. Uh, the game doesn't have a lot of special abilities per se. There are these different classes of things you are uh, investing in or developing. Uh, you know, you have like AI and machinery and sort of things like that, but it's basically just illustrations. The game feels quite abstract, and I would love an expansion that strips that feeling away while maintaining the core mechanisms which are so incredibly uh, tight and engaging. The dice manipulation in the game could be enhanced, in my opinion, with making the players feel a little more distinct between each other. So that's my number nine. Number eight is a, uh, a cooperative card game called Samurai Spirit. One of the lesser known Antoine Boza games. Kind of a spiritual successor in some ways to uh, Ghost Stories. And this one has a nice amount going on in it. But I would love alternate powers for uh, some of the villagers you are attempting to save in the game. Some of the... Uh, the buildings you are attempting to keep from being burnt down. New new characters would be great, though there's a nice slew of them already. Some of the baddies that are uh, assailing the town, there could be some alternate powers for them. So, a little more content, maybe something swappable. You can take out the entire baddie deck and replace it with a new deck with new abilities. That would be great. Uh, yeah, just a little more content in there to keep the game fresh would really bring this game up for me. My number seven is a party game called One Key. And this is very simply the same uh, thing I would want from a game like a Dixit. Okay, more pictures. Now, Dixit has a billion expansions, which is great. One Key, while much newer, doesn't have any. And I'm afraid it might not get any. That's the issue. But I'm hoping it does because I would love to see keep the game fresh by having more artwork more things for the players to discern. You are trying to give get the rest of the players, it's a cooperative game, to guess the picture you want them to guess from fairly vague clues. And of course, more illustrations will enhance the replayability of the game. So that's one key, my number seven. My number six is uh, very doubtful, but I would love to see an expansion to Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. In my opinion, Reign of Cthulhu is the one with the least amount of replayability out of the box. There are no expansions, and you see most everything in every game. There's the Elder Ones, the Elder Gods, and you see most of them, but I would love to see a bunch of new ones. I would love to see more characters. I would just like to see a little bit more happening. Maybe a secondary board that enhances... The fight for, uh, you know, the fight against, I should say, madness in the game. The madness mechanism is very straightforward. And I, I would love to see a deeper dive into that. 
So perhaps having an enhanced player board or a secondary sideboard where you can attempt to do uh, something a little more engaging, kind of like the In the Lab expansion to regular Pandemic. Something like that for Reign of Cthulhu. Uh, number five is the, while well, I mentioned Ghost Stories a little bit ago, this is the reworking of that. Last Bastion. Last Bastion, mechanically speaking, is a much cleaner game than Ghost Stories. It's more straightforward. It's easier to teach to more people. The theme isn't as uh, distinct, as uh, sort of flavorful and engaging and, and captivating as Ghost Stories was. But the gameplay absolutely will get its hooks into you. And I would love to see more content. I Now that they have these mechanisms streamlined the way they do, then it should be a little easier to add in extra content and incorporate that without things being tricky, things going haywire, you know, new rules questions popping up. This one's fairly new, but I really, really would like more content for Last Bastion. Number four, also a co-op, lots of co-op games on here. I feel like, you know, usually they are the ones that you want more replayability after the fact because they tend, they tend to be puzzle-like. Number four is Horrified. And this expansion is very, um, it's very easy to imagine what you would want, right? In Horrified, you are fighting against the Universal uh, Pictures monsters. And uh, we've got plenty in there. Monster of Frankenstein, uh, the Bride of uh, Frankenstein's monster. We've got Dracula and the Invisible Man and all of these others. But we have plenty that are not in there. And I would love to see some of these monsters. In fact, the one thing I'm going to ask you to put down in the comments below is which monsters that are not in Horrified, would you like to see them add in an expansion? I'm curious uh, to see which ones you come up with. So, next up, that's number four, by the way, Horrified. Next up, we've got a game called Deadline, which is one of those whodunits solve the case by gathering pieces of information that WizKids put out. Deadline, the main uh, problem with the a game of this style, like any other game of this style, is... There's a finite number of cases. That's not to say that I've exhausted everything in there, but like any good gamer who's uh, somewhat addicted to the hobby, I want more cases, even if I haven't exhausted what's in there. There are 12 in the core box, which is great, but I want to see some new ones. And maybe they can throw in some new mechanisms, some new cards to mess with the players and uh, just enhance the replayability of the game, the longevity more than anything of the game. Deadline. If you haven't played this one, a lot of people looked it over. Uh, you got to check it out. My number two is for Libertalia. Libertalia, a pirate game, a uh, very simple card-driven pirate game of collecting loot and messing with other players' characters. Everybody has an identical deck of characters, and you will utilize that deck to play cards simultaneously and, you know, again, kind of drafting uh, goods, resources, gold, and uh, what have you. I want to see more pirates. I want to see a large enhanced deck of pirates. But more than that, it would be interesting for the players to have a little more diversity, not just in the order in which they play the cards that, they, that they're given. You all begin with the same cards, but something above and beyond that. I would love for there to be a drafting phase at the beginning of each of the rounds in Libertalia. Where you you are you know you have your six random pirates from a stack of I think thirty five or so everybody has the same six and you have those but then before you start playing you draft three more let's say and those are different and so you begin with say six identical pirates and maybe three different pirates to add a little a little more variety to make the game go above and beyond just who's who's gonna play what but. This card no one has, and that'll be a big surprise. So I think it would really enhance this game. And of course, new treasures and all of that stuff would be fantastic as well. Finally, my number one. We have a ton of expansions, great expansions for five tribes from Days of Wonder and Bruno Catala, but we don't have a single expansion for Yamatai from Days of Wonder and Bruno Catala. Now, I suspect... Yamatai did not sell nearly as well as, uh, as uh, Five Tribes. But I would love to see an expansion for this one. What's in there is fantastic. 
but more characters, more, uh, you know, uh, counselors or helpers, I forget what they are called, that you can bring on board and they can help you out. More things to build. New abilities, new turn order tokens, or maybe an alternate set of turn order tokens. New ways in which to score. Maybe a new resource that populates the board. And as you traverse with your uh, little ships, meaning you deploy these little wooden ships, you can gather those things as well. There's plenty here to do. I am, I, I know that uh, the designer, Bruno Catala, is a, a mastermind of coming up with not just games, but expansions to games. And I would love to see what he can come up with for Yamatai, my number one. So there you go, everybody. That's my top 10 games that are begging for an expansion that I would love to see an expansion for. Let me know in the comments below that horrified question, but also, what did I miss on this list? What are you waiting, uh, what, what expansion are you waiting for? What, what expansion are you begging the company to come out with? That's going to do it for me, everybody. My name is Z Garcia. I'm going to see you on the next one.